Thanks, Chuck. Well, Georgia farmers are battling weather to get their wheat crop in, and those who market this crop are working very hard to make sure they can effectively store all of the grain. Recently, the Monitor's Mark Wildman visited with one Georgia grain dealer who's using a unique method to store wheat at some of their facilities. In Dawson, Georgia, the trucks are lined up early at one of Agristar's grain elevators. Farmers in the area have been getting a large amount of rain, which has made wheat harvest a bit challenging. But most of the farmers have made a real good crop, and delivering it to their local storage facility is priority number one. Well, supply is excellent this year. We're seeing some, some all-time record yields in the, within the state of Georgia on a wheat crop. Um, the corn crop looks good, and we're hoping for a large soybean crop. So farmers should be happy so far, plenty of rain. Uh, the grain looks good, quality's holding up, so everything looks, looks good. AgroStar and facilities like this work hard for farmers to make sure all of this grain finds a home. Well, basically, we're in a service industry. We accumulate grain from farmers and other grain elevators. We store it on site, and we, we hold that grain until end users need it at a later date, and then we ship it out to them. Most of the poultry companies seem to be doing better than they have in the past so uh, over, overall, the poultry companies are pretty healthy right now. It seems to be a good price ratio to their production cost. Uh, they've been buying a lot of grain to get them until corn harvest. Uh, flour mills are doing well. So the consumption side has is, is been fine. It's just we're, we're, you know, every year in Georgia, we're fortunate um, as we add more irrigation, our crops are getting larger and larger and larger and more consistently larger, which is important for the industry. But it's overall a very healthy and important part of Georgia's agribusiness. For the most part, this wheat crop is going into large upright storage. But this year, AgroStar is using a different method to store wheat. We've added a lot of additional capacity over the last 12 months, traditional capacity. We have also have a test program with some grain bagging equipment that's prevalent in the Midwest, and we're sort of bringing it here. It's prevalent in South America as well. And we're just going to do three test locations this year. These large bags out back will hold enormous amounts of grain and give AgroStar a cost-effective way to store the crop. All of this will give the company options down the road so they can meet the demand of a very diverse Georgia farmer. In Georgia, we're unique that we have a large basket of commodities the farmer can choose from. And as a grain operating facility, we can only handle certain amounts or certain types of grain. So from our perspective, it really it helps us flex with the production of our farm base as they choose corn, wheat, or beans over other competing crops. And it helps us kind of max out our infrastructure in a unique manner. Although farmers are facing challenging times harvesting wheat, all of the rain is very good for the corn growing out there in the Georgia fields. I've seen some very good dry land corn driving around the southeast. We just hope those spotty rains can continue through the summer after we get the wheat out of the field. And you can bet AgriStar and other dealers will be ready when the next crop is harvested to make sure the nation's food supply stays flowing. Farm base is very happy. They're a little disappointed probably in the prices have come off a little bit, but when you start seeing large yields, large crops, that's just the nature of the supply and demand at its finest. So everyone should be having a pretty good year this year, we hope. The main problem now is finding somewhere to market that grain, and that's where our company really comes into play. We, we find the farmer a market for their grain, and that's our specialty. Reporting for the Georgia Farm Monitor, I'm Mark Wildman.